A gun-toting thug in Florida recently pointed his firearm at an innocent victim threatening to shoot him. Now, the story has gone viral after the fed-up victim made the punk pay a painful price for his criminal behavior. Once again, a story has emerged proving that criminals are truly among the dumbest life forms on the planet. According to police in Cape Coral, Florida, one very unintelligent thug made the mistake of threatening the wrong man by pointing his gun at him. In his attempt to act like a tough guy, this punk got a dose of instant brutal karma. According to local news source FOX4, the shocking incident took place on Friday, June 1, 2018, at approximately 3.30 p. M in front of a Cape Coral roofing company. Police said that 29-year-old Kevin Bruzos first got into a verbal altercation with a man outside the business before leaving for a brief time. When Bruzos returned, he was armed and ready to shift his stupidity into overdrive. Police said that Bruzos pointed his gun at the man whom he had threatened earlier and then proceeded to point his gun at a second man. Little did the punk know, the second victim he pointed his gun at is licensed to carry a concealed firearm. This is when things took a serious turn for the worse for the thug. At any time, he could have chosen differently, but Bruzos wanted to prove how tough he was by threatening innocent people at gunpoint. When Kevin Bruzos turned and pointed his gun at the victim who was also carrying a firearm, Police said that the armed victim told him to drop the gun. When Bruzos responded with more aggression, the fed-up armed victim shot him multiple times out of fear for his life and the life of the other victim. Officers from Cape Coral Police Department arrived at the scene of the shooting at approximately 3.45 p. Emman found Bruzos had come down with a serious case of lead poisoning. He wasn't such a tough guy after all, and the fact that he was threatening to murder two innocent people proves what a low life he is. Police called for an ambulance to transport the suspect to the hospital where he was treated for multiple gunshot wounds. In my opinion, Kevin Bruzos was lucky to be alive after being shot multiple times. It never seems fair that while innocent people die every day at the hands of criminals, scum like Bruzos are able to survive and just barely weasel their way out of an early grave. According to news press, Bruzos was previously convicted of third-degree battery, drug possession, and criminal mischief. The fact that he was a convicted felon prior to Friday's altercation only adds proof to the idea that he just isn't that smart. Bruzos is now facing charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. His criminal behavior and failure to learn from his mistakes landed him right back where he belongs, in jail. It won't be long before the mainstream media attempts to criminalize the victim who shot Bruzos in self-defense. It's crucial to remember that Bruzos is the person who decided to return to the scene with a firearm and pointed at two innocent people. Under those circumstances, I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't want to fight back and protect their own lives, and that is exactly what the armed victim did. Once again, the Second Amendment pulls its own weight. This time, two men at a roofing company in Cape Coral, Florida, were able to go home to their families and continue to provide for them after being threatened with death at the hands of a violent criminal. In my opinion, the armed victim deserves a tremendous amount of thanks from the local community for confronting Bruzos and sending him back to prison with a few very permanent reminders of their near-fatal meeting.